Welcome everyone, this is Andres Restart, and this time I'm going to be showing you how to beat the Flame Gliok in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the one that's specifically on the Great Bridge of Hylia. This particular fight is a little harder than other Gliok fights because it's on this bridge. This bridge has no cover, so you have nothing to protect yourself from the beam attacks, and you also don't have anything to jump off of to easily use your quick time bow attack. And what we're referring to is when you jump off a block or structure or cliff, you can do this, and it's easier to land arrow attacks. So how do we deal with this Gliok with these disadvantages on this bridge? Well, what we gotta do, well, at least what I think we gotta do, is have a lot of bomb shields to solve the problem. With the bomb shields, we can propel ourselves into the air, so we can use our bow attack, and we can avoid the beams as well. So how do we use these bomb shields? What, what's the point of these bomb shields? What do they do? So they propel yourself into the air, as I said. What you gotta do is you shield surf, and then, boom, you're in the air. So in order to get bomb shields, all you gotta do is have a shield that doesn't have a bomb attached, right? Have that equipped then drop a bomb. A bomb flower works, or if you find those bomb barrels at Bacoblin Camps, those work as well. Drop it, pull out fuse, and then fuse it to your shield, and now you can do that trick. Now, in order to do that trick, you need to know how to shield surf. So how do you shield surf? Well, you jump in the air, and then you press ZL and A into the air. Well, while you're in the air. So, jump, ZL, A. There you go, we're shield surfing. So you use that trick while you're using a bomb shield, and you can launch yourself into the air, and that's really useful against these Gliok fights. So let's go ahead and start off with some high ground here. Let's ascend through the archway here at the front of this Bridge of Hylia Gate. Let's get to the top here. Now, while I rise up here, something else I'll say is that you want to make sure you have decent bows, you want to have decent armor, use some attack potions or defense potions, that's all going to help out. If you have a bow that's at least like in the 25 to or above range, I think you can two shot everything. And I'm going to use my 30 power bow here just to show you that it's doable. And if you attach an ice fruit, that'll one shot the heads. And that's very useful against these flame gliox. So let's go ahead and get a little bit higher here with the bomb trick. Now we're in the air. Now let's glide over. So you'll notice that I'm not using any special abilities if you have unlocked them already, and that's because I don't want to spoil that for anyone. So keep that in mind. It'll also make this fight a little bit harder. Let's avoid the beams. Okay, we got to the side of the beams, but we're still above the bridge so we don't fall into the water at the end. Pull out our ice fruit, aim for the head. Sometimes the fire makes it hard to see the eyes. So pay attention to the triangles that are pointing towards the eyes. And that makes it a little bit easier to see them and hit them. So now let's pull out a strong weapon. This will get the job done. Aim for a head. And two-handed weapons, you just hold the Y button to get that spin attack going. You can get a lot of damage off this way. I'm not maxing out of my attack just so I can show you more of this fight. Let's break our weapon. All right, perfect. Let's see if we can get, can we get a shot off here before it attacks us. Yes, let's run away. They're always going to blow you away after you hit them while they're down like that. Let's pull out another bomb shield. Let's not even give it a chance to attack. We're back in the air. So let's ice fruit here and ice fruit here and then fly back. Oh, we almost fell down, but we're, we're, oh no. Oh no, we fell. Can we, can we get it back up? Is there a way to get back up here? No. We fell down. So what do you do if you fall back down? Well, you can use Ascend right here. Because I, I figured that, you know, might as well show us falling at one point or another. And so that's how you can get back up quickly. We lost our time to hit this thing, but that's all right. I got to show you guys how to get back up quickly if you do fall. Still got some damage off, which is okay. got plenty of good damage off there so that's perfectly fine got another eye there uh oh he, he knocked us off again but again we'll just use this here this middle column is easy to climb up and we can ascend through here and get back up all right now when you ascend things aren't moving so you can use this opportunity to assess the situation it looks like it's safe to come out Let's pull out another bomb shield. Let's launch ourselves into the air. 
And let's finish this thing off. All right, ice fruit. Aim for the eye. Aim for this other eye. All right, perfect. Let's pull out a stronger weapon. This will get the job done. All right, I don't, I'm not going to actually finish him off here, but he's going to start flying into the air real quick. Perfect. Let's see if we can get another shot off here before... Oh, I missed. No problem. So, if I wanted to, I could use a bomb arrow attack, a bomb shield attack right now before it flies up to finish it off. Before it uses its big attack. But I'm not going to do that, just so I can show you guys this really big attack here. So... Get... Run away. That's the best thing to do, to, to do against this giant fireball. It's a really big, strong attack, and it has a huge, huge blast radius, so run away as much as you can. I think we have enough range here. Perfect. Now, we want to try and catch that updraft, so running away too much sometimes isn't the best, but at least better safe than sorry. We're good. The, it, the next attack will, will launch us even further into the air, so that's okay. There. Perfect. Now we can approach this thing. You want to try and avoid the fireball, of course. So we're really close now. We can finish this thing off. We're close enough. All right, so before it launches its next attack, let's aim for the eyes. Again, if you can't see the eyes because of the fire, look for the triangles. And now this thing's going to potentially die just from the fall damage. And... That's how you beat a Flame Gleok on the Great Bridge of Hylia. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy this type of content, or if you like Nintendo news, theories, and discussion videos, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. We are aiming to hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But, thank you so much for listening and watching, everyone. This is Andres Restart, and I'll see you all really soon. Take care.